All right, this is our climber. It's the only thing that we don't have in our CAD, so we'll go over it in a little bit more detail for you. Uh, it's all PVC, all made uh, without CAD, so that's why we're not putting it back in. So starting off, we have a PVC support here just zip tied to the robot. We have two bars here, one to pivot on and one's the hard stop. These uh, T's here, they are going from three quarter inch PVC down to uh, half inch and that way it can pivot on this. And then we have the same setup down here with another three quarter to one or to half inch T for this hook here. To hold it down so we didn't want to use an extra servo, we actually have it zip tied to the winch with a weak link in there. So we just run the winch to break it and that's how it releases. We have these uh, surgical tubing here acting as a uh, torsional spring on here. Uh, if you were to build this, I would use a standard torque sprint or torsional spring rather than this. But this worked for us and it's what we had on hand. The hook is two pieces of quarter inch Lexan. It just press fits onto the top of our PVC. This should be in CAD. And that way it just falls off when we get it hooked on there. Uh, if you'd like, you want to go ahead and run the winch, get a close-up of the uh, deployment here. Alright, so it's pretty quick. It's just spring-loaded, so there's no motors actually driving it up. The reason we have the two bars is the second one acts as a hard stop for the first. We can fine-tune the angle that it stops by adding spacers like this pool noodle. We also have a winch to bring everything back down, which is powered by the same motor that just broke the zip tie. Uh, go ahead and uh, get a shot from over here and bring it down for us. So once the winch pulls up, the hook pulls on and pulls it down. And that's pretty much all to it.